I didn't know anything about a guitar. I yeah, so still didn't know all that. It's fun. Yeah. It's yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Like that. I learned a lot. So, um, just, yeah, I'll be I, just I'm just as well. Hi, Amy! 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 We'll be back. Give me no handshake. See you guys. Bye, Rod. Bye, Rod. Bye, bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, this part of the guitar, Mark. Is... It's called the neck. This is the neck right here. This is where my left hand goes. You guys asked me. This is all you can say. And, and, and this part of the guitar, the body of it, is uh, coffee air. The coffee table. Air. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me the dead one. <laughs> if you've got five seconds, I'll tell you everything I know about a guitar. I started building the regular cigar box guitars over there in October of last year. Uh, I like the blues, and I was watching YouTube, which gets us all in trouble. <laughs> he saw this guy playing his weird looking guitar and looked at it and then I googled cigar box guitars and this is what's happened. Um, most of the three and four string guitars I build, I give to soldiers in the hospital so they got something to do while they're recuperating or I send them overseas to the guys that are deployed so when they aren't getting shot at they got something to do. Um, I knew nothing about guitars when I started in October. I don't know a whole lot more, other than you mentioned a guitar, everybody's looking for six strings, and they don't always have six strings. I think uh, you might help me, Reno. Doesn't a tenor guitar's only got four anyhow, if I remember correctly. But uh, that was derived so the banjo players could switch over to guitar easier. But anyhow, the one that he's got used to be a coffee table. Got two of them out of that. One of them, some poor soldier was expecting a three-string cigar box guitar in the hospital and got a six-string Gibson copy is what he got. So he was very happy. Uh, it's developed into the regular six-string cigar box guitars there. The one standing on its own is what they call a lap steel. That's made out of five different guitars and a piano bench. And I forgot my pride and joy, left it in the van. Got an antique crutch I made a stand-up bass out of. It's an old crutch turned upside down with a weed eater string on it. And it is electrified too. Did I, I touched that without asking, was, was that right? That's fine. I'll send you the bill for it. All right. And uh, I've also taken you bought it. the old metal bed bands and built a mandolin out of those. Yeah. Uh, it's developed into, I've got an old antique mandolin now I'm restoring. Earliest date I can find anything about it is 1920 was the last year they used the tuners on it, so I know it's at least that old, if not older. By looking at it, it was all handmade by somebody too, not in a factory. So we're trying to find some more detail out on that, but it's been fun. It gives me something to do. Uh, I'm losing my eyesight, so I can't see to drive, so I'm always at home. And uh, mostly with hand tools, I still get on the table saw now and then. That's not how that happened, though. So don't worry. Um, Somehow he sees the computer screen, though, because I think he makes a few posts on Facebook from time to time. Yeah, when I've got some spare time. It's pretty sad I live on there, but it's 36 what do you do? or what? But anyhow, that's kind of a quick story on the guitars. I've always got to find somebody that says they know how to play to play them, so we'll see what Reno knows tonight, if anything. Fake it! Reno! Any questions and autographs will be available afterwards. We were trying to get Carlos Santana, but he was busy tonight. I called B.B. King, but he didn't want to come this far. Yeah. Got to see him in concert. Oh my, it was great. Really? Yeah, we could do B.B. Big fan. He's <laughs> You're the show. Come on. It's all you. It's all you. So, anyways, they had a, a guitar over there that said uh, Ozark Mountain or something on it. Mm -hmm. So that uh, that inspired me. <laughs> 